Well, I'm here at Foodland Alamoana with Chef Keone Chang. Hi, how are you? How are you? Great. We are wanting to know how yes. we can make the best home party for yes. our Christmas parties if we're not going Christmas, out and about. Christmas and New Year's are right around the corner, so we thought we'd make it fun, right? Mm -hmm. A couple things, you know, we want it to be stress-free, right? And so if you want the ultimate is stress-free, you can come and get things like platters we have at our art field department or pick up, you know, different things from our store. But we thought it'd be fun to do something that's easy to do at home, mm -hmm. great to do with the family and the kids, and we're going to do kamaboko puffs. Okay. okay. So Why basically, we start? it's easy. Or, you know, you can do the start with the sauce. We're going to do a little, have some mayonnaise here. Why don't you go ahead and put some sriracha in here to, to your taste. All right. That's the fun part about the cooking we, we do like here. We like them spicy. There's no real recipes. Yeah, get in there. Get it nice and okay. here. While you're stirring, I'll put some lemon. This is lime, actually. Mm -hmm. Tell me when. Yeah. I'll keep going with that. Oh, yeah, you like Perfect. That yeah, nice. Okay, good. Go I ahead. I want that to look a little more red, yeah? Yeah, I think so. That, there you go. There we go. Pretend it's Christmas and <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> that's at right, the same that's time. right. We're going to yeah. really. So stir that bad boy up and then go ahead and put some in here. Okay. Now we're going to make kamaboko puffs or puffs to your liking. Mm -hmm. And this is what they're going to look like when they're done. Nice. So you get to see the finished product, but it's really, really easy and fun. So. I'm going to start with opening up this uh, Pillsbury croissant dough. Mm -hmm. And I've never, I'm really, I never can get it just right. Oh, here <laughs> these go. are the fun ones because yeah. they pop. There you go. Yeah, here we go. Pull that and it just it should pop, right? Yep. It's just squeeze it and there you go. There I got you the go. pop. Okay, you go ahead and put that in there. All right, I'll there. put that in here. And then. I already ahead. like the idea See, of the dough because we're not having to make the dough from scratch that, either. See, I just saved you like three hours, you right? You did. Go ahead and spray this a little bit so that we can keep it from sticking. And then I'll open this up. And these are cool, right? Because they're it's a sheet. Beautiful. Now, these are designed to have little triangles to make actual, you know, croissants. But what we do is, I'll just take this to show. Just making one flat piece. We're going to bring it back to one piece, exactly. Then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to cut basically into squares now, okay? okay? So now we have squares. I don't let you do this. Take okay. a square, All right. and you're gonna push it into ah. this and just kind of make a nice Let's pocket. Make a little cup, okay. Yeah, very, very, pretty, it's very, I think it's pretty easy, yeah. right? Okay, great. And just let it hang over the edges Let it hang like up, that? kind of come up, exactly. Okay. Come and now, I did this with kamaboko dip. Oh. But we thought, you know, why, why not change it up a little bit? So this is, we have salmon ochazuki dip. Okay. And I've got some spinach dip, so you can go ahead and play with that oh, and have fun one. with that. Either one, okay, great. Now go ahead, I'll let you do that. And while you're doing that, I want to show, these are what they look like when they come out and they pop out very mm -hmm. easily, right? What you can do is you can garnish them. So you can do something simple, like just put some green onions on them, which looks great. When you're done, yeah. Got the sauce, I'll put that here. But again, if you want to kick it up a notch and really be opulent, you could do something like take some ahi poke and put them on top here. Nice. So there's just lots of different ways you can have fun with this. And I'll put some on here while you're doing yours. And I'll put a little bit more garnish on here. The other thing you can do is um, you can put furikake. So mm -hmm. put some on here like that. But again, the thing about the, 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 the puffs is that it's really simple, it's fun, it's colorful. How are you looking over there? Yeah, yeah. I'll make the, let these uh, fill up here. So you can really fill up with any of these pre-made yeah. things that you can get at your deli. So another another time saver is right here. Again, right. So and we're doing this very quickly. And mm -hmm. Go ahead, pop that in, and that looks beautiful. All right, just about that much. I'm just going. Yeah, that's good. I'll just put some green onion too in here. Okay. That looks great. All right. You put two of those here. And for our vegetarian friends, we'll do a little of this. Spin dip there. Should I put some puri in this? Yes. One? And this recipe is available on our website. Okay. Chef Becca is the one that developed this, and so there's a YouTube video that you can watch. So, if you want a refresher, you know, you can watch her do this. Can we do anything there. with the edges on here? You can. I mean, if you want, you can uh, get festive with them, push them up. What temperature and for how long? Yeah. So you want to go about 12 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay. And what's really important too is you got to look at them, and watch them, because everyone's oven's a little bit different. So watch them when they're nice and golden like yeah, this. You're good. good. And what I like to do is at about halfway through kind of spin the pan because okay. your oven doesn't always cook evenly and if you spin the pan you kind of force an even bake on the product. Sure, okay yeah. great. So what are some other twists that we can put on this too? We know we have the fish version, yeah. we have the vegetarian version yeah. here. I mean if you wanted to you could have fun with it. You want to be like a, do a dessert type. Yeah. I would put some cream cheese in the bottom mm -hmm. and you can get some canned, you know like cherries or you could get fresh apples, dice them up, put them in here, put a little pat of butter. Same thing in the oven. Oh, you know what's fun? It's a little bit of cinnamon sugar. So there's a lot of ways you can do it. Sweet. 
I, you could also put the cream cheese in the bottom, take some poke, put it on there, put that in the oven. I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can go and have fun with it. Yeah. Well, folks, as you round out all of your entertaining plans, it's way easier than it might seem. Don't, for, don't forget to come get the pre-made stuff, platters. You don't have to be a chef to make all these fixings. You just have to be able to put it together. If I can do it, trust me, anybody can do it. All right, and to make it even easier, Foodland has put together all of these recipes. We're going to have them on our websites if you want to repeat this plus many more. It's really easy to do. Visit khon2.com and check out those recipes. Chef, we can't wait to try some of these. All Thank right. you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to everybody watching too.